Hello everyone, today I am here to discuss about the fractions and the types of fractions. So, first of all, what do you mean by a fraction? A fraction is nothing but a part of a whole. So, a fraction is nothing but a part of a of a whole and the general form of fraction is this written as a by b this is the general form of a fraction where where a is called numerator a is called numerator and b is called denominator A is the numerator and B is the denominator and we call we can also say it as A by B is equal to A divided by B. So diagrammically I will show how the fraction is. So I will draw a circle and I will divide the circle into four equal parts. Out of four equal parts I am shading one part. So the fraction of this uh, figure is uh, one, by, uh, 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is nothing but one part is shaded out of four equal parts. So the fraction is 1 by 4 and this uh, 1 we call it as numerator and 4 we call it as denominator. So this is about the fraction. Now we will go for the types of fractions. So what are the types of fractions I will explain now. So fractions uh, we have different types. First I will explain only three types of fractions. They are uh, first one is uh, proper fraction. And the second one is improper fraction. And the third one is mixed fraction. Now, so fractions are divided into three types. That is a proper fraction, improper fraction, and the mixed fraction. So what do you mean by proper fraction? In the proper fraction, the numerator will be less and the denominator will be more. Look here, numerator, when I am comparing numerator and denominator, numerator is uh, less uh, when comparing to the denominator. So numerator should be small uh, in the improper fraction and the denominator should be big. So then only we call it as, uh, it is a proper fraction. So example for the proper fractions, so 2 by 7, 3 by 8, 4 by 9, these are the examples for the proper fraction. Look here everyone, 2 is small and uh, 7 is big. Here, all the numerators are small all, and uh, all the denominators are big. So these are the examples for the proper fraction. Now, we will go to the improper fraction. So in the improper fraction, numerator will be big and the denominator will be small. Yeah, observe 7 is big when compared to the denominator. So. Uh, we call it as 7 by 2, we call it as improper fraction. So examples for improper fraction is uh, uh, 8 by 3, 11 by 2, and 15 by 2. Look here, here examples, all the numerators are big and all the denominators are small. So all these fractions belong to the improper fraction. Now, mixed fraction. Mixed fraction, uh, here we have a whole part, that means any number, whole part, and it also have the fractional part. So, if you have whole part and the fractional part together, we call it as a mixed fraction. So, examples for the mixed fraction are uh, 1, 1 by 3, 2, 1 by 5, and 6, 1 by 5. So, these are the examples for the mixed fractions. So, uh, fractions are divided into three types, proper fraction. The example for the proper fractions are 2 by 7, 3 by 8, these are the examples, and improper fraction. Uh, numerator will be big and denominator is small. So these are the examples for improper fraction and mixed fraction. Mixed fraction has one whole part and the fractional part. So these are the examples for the mixed fraction. Now I will uh, say that how to convert mixed fractions to improper fractions. Converting mixed fractions to improper fractions. To explain this, uh, I will consider one example. 3, 1 by 5. So 3, 1 by 5, this is an uh, example for uh, mixed fractions. Now we know that mixed fractions will contain one uh, whole part and one fractional part. So how to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions, I will explain now. So to solve this one, first uh, 
the fractional part, the denominator of the fractional part should be multiplied with the whole part. That means uh, 5 into 3 and this product should be added to the numerator of the fractional part. That is 1. And the denominator, division part as it is, we should write. That is 5. Now, we know that 5, 3 times is nothing but 15 and uh, we are adding plus 1 as it is and denominator it is 5. Now, 15 plus 1 is nothing but 16, 16 and the denominator is 5, 16 by 5, it is nothing but an improper fraction. So, here, we converted the mixed fractions into improper fraction, that is, uh, 3, 1 by 5 is, uh, the improper fraction for 3, 1 by 5 is nothing but 16 by 5. So this is the way how to convert mixed fractions to improper fractions. Now we will go to the next topic, how to convert, how to reduce the fraction to its lowest terms. Thank you. Now I will explain how to reduce a fraction to its lowest terms. To explain this topic, I will consider one example. So example is nothing but 60 by 72. This is a fraction I am considering. To convert them into the lowest fractions, first we should find the HCF of both numerator and denominator. So how to find HCF? So HCF of 60 and 72. So we have to divide 72 with 60. So 60 one times is nothing but 60 subtraction we are doing so 2 minus 0 is automatically 2 and 7 minus 6 is 1 and with 12 I am dividing 60 so we know that 12 5 times is nothing but 60 and the remainder is 0 so HCF of uh, this numerator and denominator is nothing but uh, 12 so what do you mean by this the 12 is a common factor for 60 and 72 so what we should do, 60 and 72, we have to divide both the numbers with the common factor, highest common factor that is 12. So we know that 12 5 is nothing but 60 and 12 6 is nothing but 72. So the uh, lowest term of uh, 60 by 72 is nothing but 5 by 6. So this is a process how to convert, how to reduce a fraction to its lowest terms. Now I am going to explain how to compare two different fractions. So to explain this topic I will consider two example fractions that means 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. So two fractions I consider that is first one is 2 by 5 and 1 by 2. To compare these fractions first we should do cross multiplication. 2, we should multiply to the denominator of the another fraction 2 and 5, we should uh, multiply with 1. So multiply, 2 2 is, a, is nothing but 4 and 5 by time, uh, 1 time is nothing but 5. Now easily we can compare this both the numbers. Here we come to know that uh, 4 is less than 5. So that is nothing but 2 by 5 uh, is uh, less than 1 by 2. So this is a process how to compare uh, of both the different fractions.